One of the ways we know the Earth is not billions of years old is because of discoveries made by Robert V. Gentry. Honest question. Do you really think the scientific community has not responded to this book that's over 35 years old? A nuclear physicist who was an evolutionist, he published in all the top journals, had funding of the wazoo. So the implication is that Gentry became a young Earth creationist because of discoveries he made. That's not true. According to Ronald Numbers, he became a creationist before he got his doctorate because of a televangelist. You see, he studied Earth's oldest rocks, granite. Robert discovered radiopolonium halos in these rocks. What radiopolonium is, is a radiometric material that has a half-life of a few seconds. So really, they didn't form over millions of years old, they formed in less than 11 seconds. So as you would suspect, geologists have responded to Gentry's work, and there's a lot of problems here. Samples from Silver Crater and Fission Mines he misidentified as granite when they were actually calcite vein dikes. He also erroneously assumed that all Precambrian rocks were left over from Earth's formation, and this is just simply not true. And because of these errors, among many others, he overlooked natural processes that could account for the formation of the polonium halos. To quote two geologists, The rapid rates at which crystals can grow in calcite vein dikes are pegmatites in the presence of steam, and the rapid rates at which radioactive isotopes can diffuse from areas of relatively high pressures into possible large open fractures are important factors in the formation of polonium halos. All these factors provide the means by which polonium halos are formed in biotite and fluorite by natural processes. Now, I've barely scratched the surface with the problems here, and I know what I said is complicated, but if you want more, read this article by two geologists that responded to Gentry. It's also important to note that even creationists criticize Gentry's work because of numerous problems. Historian Ronald Numbers says, Several Adventist scientists accused him of willfully ignoring pertinent evidence and of inconsistently and arbitrarily assuming non-uniform decay rates for all radioactive isotopes except polonium. In other words, Gentry's work is hardly a tiny mystery that supports a young Earth. It's been criticized by mainstream scientists and creationists.